couple months ago, I was watching TV and someone commissioned me to make a media console. She said it just had to be modern, 80 inches long, have some contrast and brass hardwares. The rest was up to me. And I thought that sounded like a pretty sweet deal. So let's just get into it. Lately I've been low time, losing all control. With the First, let's take out the giant sheet of plywood and start laying down the cut lines. Now, let's grab the track saw and start breaking things down. Is you falling through? Tell me what the move is. Girl, it's been a cool minute. I just wanna know. Tell me what's the whole okay, the boards are cut to the rough sizes. Now let's cut some miters on the ends. For the larger boards, I'll use my track saw, but for the smaller ones, they'll be cut on the table saw. I wanna hear you say you still believe in me. I just wanna know. Mm, and that is a perfect 45. Now it's time to cut the dados. And to keep things simple, I'm using a rather bit size just right for the plywood. I won't stop. With the same bit still in the router, I switch over to an edge guide and cut a rabbit along the back edges of all the case panels. Okay, case joinery done. Now it's time to lay out the dominoes and cut the mortises. No time to play, got book dates, had a plan, only had to wait. Always knew I'd make a way. Send a the bill, they send a the pay. Keep it real, keep the record straight. Keep it real, no time to fake. Authentic in my own lane. I am me till I'm in the grave. Trans said I got style for you. Ain't seen you at the top, it's been a while for you. Big you up and they look down on you. Take one lost, no one's around for you. I won't stop. No, 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 no. I won't stop, I won't stop. I won't stop. No, 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 no. I won't stop, I won't stop. Oh, never panic. Get a worry, send it up and then it vanish. Okay, while well, I'm gluing up the case, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, Private Internet Access. With so many people working from home nowadays, it's even more important to keep your personal information protected. Since its start in 2010, PIA VPN has earned PC Max Editor's Choice Award and became the leading no-log VPN service. So whether you want to shield your online presence or improve your digital experience, PIA VPN is for you, my friends. With 20,000 servers across 70 countries, PIA secures your internet presence by conceding your IP IP address and encrypting your personal information so that no one else can see it. And they do all of this without ever logging your online activity. On top of that, you will get access to content that aren't normally available in your region on services like Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, Amazon Prime, and more. And guys, that is awesome. With dedicated apps across all major platforms, you can connect to PIA on up to 10 devices at the same time. So you can watch TV, browse the internet, answer some emails, all while being protected. So so if you want to up your security while having more freedom online, go through the link in the description to support my channel and get 2 years plus 3 extra months for free. And if you find that it's not for you, you'll get your money back with PIA's 30 day money back guarantee. Thanks to PIA for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the build. Alright with the case clamped up, it's time to work on the hardwood edge banding. But first, let's mill some lumber. When my friends go when the ends low, switch the tempo. I got right, I got heart, I won't die, I'ma fight, I go down, then I strike, I go hard day and night. Yeah. Okay, with the strips cut to about an inch wide, now I'm gonna cut a rabbit along the edge to create a quarter inch reveal. And to do this, I'm gonna swap over to my dado blades. What would you do for some green? What would you do for some blues? Go pick and choose the fam of the cheese. Some people not built like that. Some people get killed like that. Pressure like water, lights, mortgage, I've been at bills like that. Now I got kids like that. Next, let's cut the miter ends on the strips to match the case. Me, I go to war for some. Some people need knives and guns. Same ones just talk and run. Some people go to war for none. Once I get the first piece glued down, I can use it as reference to mark and cut the next piece to size. When my friends go, it was simple. When the ends low, switch the tempo. I got right, I got heart, I won't die, I'ma fight, I go down, better strike, I go hard day and night. 
I'm just gonna follow that same process and work my way around until all four edges are glued up. Got a real big road now for Instagram. My mama on the line, keep calling. Praying for me, no, I need all that. Told me it's not about balling. Real blessed, but I'm still sending it, man. What would you do for a win? What would you do? Oh man, it's already two and a half a.m. Let's call it a day. It's already next morning, the glue's cured, and the edge banding is looking clean. So now, let's work on the partitions. And to get these cut to size, I'm gonna use the glued up case as reference. And oh, don't forget to cut the dados before gluing these in. Oh yeah! Next, let's cut some more hardwood strips to make the edge banding for these partitions. Oh yeah, perfect fit. I wanna hear you say you still believe in me. I just wanna know. And finally, the last thing left to do here is drill some holes for the shelf pins. And to do this, I'm gonna use this Craig jib. Okay, now, before I assemble the back panel, I have to cut a hole for the wires. And if you saw my post on Instagram, you know I designed a little cover on my iPad and then cut it out on my CNC to help cover up that hole if it's not gonna be used. Just like that, oh yeah. And now let's attach the back panel to the case with some brad nails. Okay, the case is finally done, now let's apply some finish. All right, finish applied and it's looking great. Now it's time to work on the cubby. And for this, I'm gonna use 3 quarter inch MDF. And just like the case portion of the build, I'm gonna cut some miter ends to these pieces as well. And while the blade is still at 45 degrees, let's add a bevel to each panel. And once again, I'm gonna use my router to cut the dados for the half inch thick partitions. Okay, dados cut, now let's tape up the joinery for painting. And since this is MDF, let's prime the surfaces first before applying the paint. Alright, painting done. Now let's glue up the box using the tape method. And once again, I'm just using glue and brad nails to attach the back panels to finish up the cubby. Then, assuming everything's perfect, it should slide right into the case. Oh yeah, satisfying. Alright, once that's done, let's work on the drawers. But first, let's install the slides. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight... Okay, drawer slides in place. Now, let's break down the half-inch plywood for the drawer boxes. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my. Hey, you on drawer boxes? I don't want plywood edges to be showing, so you know what's next. It's just what I do when I'm so Okay, the edges are looking fresh. Now, let's cut the joinery. And I'm gonna cut everything using just a single blade at a table saw. That 
that was easy. Now let's glue everything up. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine. And I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. Okay, drawer box is finished. You know what's next. The doors and the drawer fronts. And of course, all of these will be edge banded as well to keep things looking clean. Oh, delivery! Oh yeah, the hardware arrived just in time. So, let's get them installed. Okay, let's attach the front to the drawer box. I'm using some spacers to set the position and then use the holes I drilled previously as a guide. Then just attach them with the screws for the handles and some additional ones countersunk into the back for added strength. And then I'm ready to mount some door hinges. To do this, I will use this jig to keep things easy. Alright, the top of the console is done, now let's start on the legs. And I haven't done this type of legs before, but I've watched enough YouTube videos to make me an expert. So let's lay things out and give it a try. To make the leg, I'm going to use the tapering jig to cut the first taper, and then tape the off cut back onto the leg, rotate the piece, and then make the second cut. On your mind. I've got 70,000 friends. So Just finished cutting the legs and it worked. Now it's time to cut the stretchers to size, but first, let's use the legs as reference to figure out the length. We've always got fallen. And I feel now it is time to let you go. Without hesitation. Hesitation. I don't know what I want. Okay, the fit is perfect. Now let's do the final glue up. But I feel a loss of balance when I think of you and me. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I need. But I feel there's something missing. Someone's missing me. Once the glue dried, I put a rabbiting bit in my router to add a sexy reveal along the top edge of the leg assembly. Oh yeah! I don't know if what we had was just a waste of time. You got 70,000 friends. And now for the best part the final assembly. Alright guys, that's the end of the build. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. You know the whole deal. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Someone's missing me